Welcome to Makeup Magic 88. Hi friends, welcome back to Tea Time Thursday. So today's video, I just wanted to do a sort of quick rundown of what's new out there in the market. And some of these things are from Sephora, some of these things are from Nordstrom. This uh, is Hachi! Ah, Hachi, don't sneak my makeup! Hachi, Hachi boy, Hachi boy! Yep, Hachi, he's really sweet. He's so well, um, so easy to train. I've already taught him how to sit, stay, fetch, um, chill out, and you know, he's doing his toilets in the right places. So he's my new little buddy, and I'm so happy to show him to you. Ooh, he's a bit tired because he spent most of today out. Yeah, there you go. So the first few things I wanted to show you are from um, Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs came out with a whole bunch of sort of lip products called Kiss Pops. So they look like this. Isn't that cute? It looks like a little pencil bullet. That's what it looks like close up. And it looks like a little pencil. And you open it up like that. And then that's what the uh, lippy product looks. So it's like a lip pencil, um, but in this very sleek Marc Jacobs type of um, packaging, which I really think is absolutely adorable. So this color is a color called Headliner, and I'll do a swatch. And it's this really nice berry color here. And I got another color called Pow, and same packaging. But as you can see, they've been thoughtful enough to make sure that the nibs are a different color, which I think is just fabulous. And this one is more of a coral color, a corally pink color. That's what it looks like. The texture is more gel-like and long-lasting, and it's also very moisturizing. The next color I have here is called Heartbreaker. And this one is more of a corally color here. So beautiful colors, lovely formula, really cute packaging. I mean, if I want to take this out in public, I think I'll be, I'll feel so stylish and yeah, really, really nice. And also from uh, new from Marc Jacobs is this smart wand. Um, I think I got the wrong color. This is light medium, light slash medium, 220. And it's supposed to be like a tinted moisturizer, but in their gel formula. So Marc Jacobs uh, foundation, as you know, has a sort of gel formula. This is it's sheer coverage, smart hydration, portable luxury. And what I liked about it was the packaging again. As you can see, it's really sleek. Um, it almost looks like a deodorant stick actually, except for the fact that it actually does say Marc Jacobs there. And you basically have like this uh, tube of makeup. And as you can see, I think it is a little bit too dark for me, but I could blend it out. So, a bit, yeah, it's a bit too orangey for me. I think this might be good in summer if I wanted something with more sheer coverage. It actually smells quite nice, and the texture is quite nice too. But 220 is a bit too orange for me at the moment. So the next one is, they came out with a whole series of these. They're called Twinkle Pop, Twinkle Pop Pencils. And I've had a good um, run with Marc Jacobs. Oh, so cute. Look at this, it's like the lipstick. Like the Kiss Pop in that pencil format. Oh my gosh, these are so adorable. I think I'll get more when they go on sale. This color that I have here I thought would be the most versatile. It's called Volver uh, 402. You can see it's a beautiful, it has that color there as well. Oh, this is a nice champagne color. So there. It can be an all over the lid eye color. You can have it in the inner corners, you can have it under your eyes as well. Just beautiful and it blends really well. And it seems to be setting really well and almost smudge proof. I really like that. Then also, um, Sephora once in a while has all of these like special 
um, sales and I picked up this one, this kit, which comes with two of the Kat Von D shade shifters. Um, I think one on its own probably retails for like I think about $20, but they had a special on and it had these two and it was only $15. So I thought that was such a great bargain, so I picked them up. And what they are are single eyeshadows. One that I have here now is called On the Road. Ooh, it's got a nice big applicator and that's there and it also has a little mirror what it looks like up close I'm going to do a little swatchy swatch there and then the idea is that you can put it on and then it changes color and it becomes reflective so it looked green in there and now it's come into this sort of almost ready color really interesting to play with this one is called love letter and it looks like almost like a almost like a burnish purple to it but like the other one which was green and then it came into this sort of burnish copper look let's just give it a swatchy swatch so it swatches on the finger like that and then we'll just apply it and this one has, it becomes more like a gold color, I think. Like a bit of a rose gold with the purple. That's when it looks blended out. So really beautiful. I really like um, Kat Von D products. And I really like the idea of the shade shifters. I mean, if you get a chance to get them, I mean, $15 for two is amazing. Um, you know, you can definitely wear the purple lightly applied for daytime and maybe this color for night when you're going out so also new from uh, at sephora is the Too faced cat eyes i'll be doing a separate review of this next uh, tea time thursday because there are two other new palettes that Too faced has come out with the country one and the rock and roll one so i wanted to show you some looks of that but this one is the one that's sold on the Sephora website. The other two, I think you have to get it from Ulta or from the actual Too Faced website. So a cute little case again. I mean, Too Faced has the cutest packaging. First they come out with the chocolate palette, now they come out with these little ones. So what's really special about this Cat Eyes palette is that it includes three um, eye colors that you can use as eyeliners as well and their wet or dry formula and then you get these other colors to play around with then the other new thing from Too Faced is the hangover proactive nourishing um, primer it's called the replenishing face primer and I like it because it's silicon free and includes coconut water electrolytes probiotics sounds like things that you should be drinking so it comes in this nice little tube here really pretty um, and then we'll just see how it works. Oh, awesome. It comes with a pump. Let's pump a bit out. So I've pumped a bit out and it looks white. Faint coconut smell. And it really feels really nice. Moisturizing. And I think it's absorbing quite well as into my skin. Mm, I love the smell. It does smell like coconuts. That's quite nice. Mmm, lovely. Uh, Smashbox came out with a cherry smoke palette. It's quite nice. A bit different in terms of how you open it. You actually pull a flap down, which is magnetized. And you get eight colors. So this is more for like a smoky eye palette. Although I think you can do a daytime look with some of these as well. So I think I'm going to do a tutorial using just this palette. But I'll just do some swatches to show you what I think of them. Let's try this color here. Wow. So that's that color there. I barely touched it. Another one. Very good quality. Very soft. It's that one. Intense colors. They feel very creamy skin and there you go color payoff is amazing then new from Tarte is this gorgeous palette I love Tarte I just think 
their products are really good but their earlier versions of the eyeshadows were a bit hit and miss some of them were a bit chalky a bit patchy but the formula has improved over the years and this time um, instead of the Amazonian clay formula that they usually use this is the colored clay series so this palette is called rainforest after dark and it's in this disc formula um, which is sort of the packaging that they're moving to they're moving away from the standard like sort of rectangle palette into these round palettes and it's a face uh, a cheek and eyes palette it has this beautiful wood to it and a snake design and then you get a lovely blush called Unleashed their standard Park Avenue Princess bronzer which comes in pretty much all of the ones that come like this and then they have this nice highlighter called Champagne I'm just gonna do a little swatchy swatch and then you get a nice range of colors here and I think this palette is so versatile because you can do a lot of day looks with it so that's Champagne try this purple color here pretty nice very nice indeed. Just go over this side. These two more, these two colors. See how it looks on my skin. A bit subtle, but probably I think much better than Summer Days and Sultry Nights palette that they came out with. So I actually showed that in my Summer Palettes video, so you can have a look at that one. But as you can see from these swipes, I think these are a lot better in formulation. Um, just gorgeous. So also in the pack, as usual, they always give you sort of like um, a face eye sort of card to give you an idea of how to combine the colors. And then so a lot of companies and brands are coming out with their autumn collection at the moment. So I picked up um, YSL's uh, palette and this is called the palette Fetish um, and it's their autumn offering. So it's come out on Nordstrom now and quite differently it has this lovely leather uh, front panel to their case. And they have the standard um, two applicators there and then we have these beautiful colors that's a close-up of the palette just make sure my fingers are clean and I'm gonna do a swatch this is quite a dark palette I mean yes it's for autumn but it's almost like to me a lot of the colors are almost more suitable for like nighttime wear so what I've done is I've included um, some mattes, some metallics, and some um, shimmer colors. I'm just going to do a swatch like that. So really good quality from YSL. It's what you would expect for the price that you pay. And that's really nice, pretty. And I think the leather design in the front is so unusual and that's why I got this one. This one I have been waiting to get my hands on. This is Makeup Forever's new uh, makeup setting spray um, and this is um, the new one called Mist and Fix 02. This is the original formula one um, and this is the new one and a lot of people complained with the original formula that the way it sprayed was like sort of like a radar so it's really hard to sort of apply it on your face in a sort of mist layer with this new one which where they fix the spray and the formulation is a lot lighter it smells like a very light citrus smell it's also hydrating so it's a makeup setting spray that's long lasting and moisturizing it's this O2 skin complex it says keep your makeup on all day and color looking it's fresh um, creates that invisible barrier smudge proof um, has nesturium flower extract to boost skin scale, uh, cellular oxygenate oxygenation it's like science gosh uh, for radiant healthy looking skin 
So just another sort of three products to show you. Um, I picked up from Nordstrom um, this blush from Estee Lauder. It's the Illuminating Powder Jolie Blush. And this color is called 04 Crystal Baby. Look at that color. Gorgeous. Do a swatch. Really pretty. This one is really pretty. Yeah, I really like it. See how it looks like on my skin. Mm. I'll have to do a tutorial to show you, but I think it looks lovely. Comes with a little blush brush as well. And the last two things were I got um, were from Chanel, and these are the Illusion the Ombres, the long wear eyeshadows. And I think this is their autumn collection. So I got both of them because I absolutely love these. I mean, a really good dupe for them are the color tattoos from Maybelline. But I do love these two colors. They come in a pot and they have like a little Chanel brush and you can use them as eyeliners. You can use them as eyeshadows. Pretty much very versatile products. So the first color I have here is got Dia Passion 92. And it's this beautiful color here, very soft, mousse-like texture that they have. That's what it looks like. Yep, really like that color. I think it makes a really pretty purple smoky eye. This one called Impulsion. I absolutely love my pinks, and I think this is so pretty. Just do a little swatchy swatch. I think I can even use this as a highlighter on my cheeks. And it's just this very light glittery color. I'm gonna build up an in intensity that you can actually see it there. So very light. I think these two actually go together quite well and I think it'll make a nice sort of um, daytime look. So that's my collective haul from Sephora and Nordstrom. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. It means a lot to me um, and it really helps my channel grow. I thank you so much for your support. Please subscribe if you haven't to be alerted of new videos. Goodbye! Bye! See you in the next video! Bye! And my next video will be on Monday, which will be Magic Monday. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the new Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'll also be doing a giveaway. So check in on Monday and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!